In this short video, you will see how your anxiety issues can literally shift from anxiety to an unparalleled peace within. My students and I have been doing this worldwide ever since I first brought EFT tapping for anxiety to the public in 1995. I mean, I brought that out then as a Stanford engineer with a very different approach to healing. But as things have progressed over time, there's now an even more powerful advancement called optimal EFT that goes well beyond EFT tapping for anxiety. I will unfold this for you in this video and at the end of this video I will give you a free ebook which will expand it even more so you can learn it in all the detail that you want. It starts with a non-denominational spiritual healer within that we all recognize intuitively is there but yet have not learned how to access it. That's what this is all about. We are going to learn to access that and learn to access it well. You can actually go within, access this ultimate healer that goes well beyond all man-made methods and create relief for not only for anxiety, but for every other issue that you can, you can name. However, this requires a refreshing new way of thinking where you become in control of your healing. It is more powerful, more efficient, and no tapping is even necessary. You likely know about this intuitively, but, but have not really learned to release it yet. And that's why we're here. You can learn to do this, and when you do, new levels of peace takes over, and anxiety of all forms fades. There are basically two steps to this, this process. First involves the cause, and the second involves the remedy. Now, one of the things that sets this apart from all other forms of anxiety relief is, is we are looking for the actual cause. What really causes it? And we don't, many of these man-made methods will look at the symptoms of, you know, the anxiety symptoms and the sleeplessness and the, and, and all the other limits that go on in your life and try to aim, aim at those symptoms. We're not doing that. We're going to aim at the cause. Now the cause is emotional. Again, you know that intuitively. But let me give you a metaphor for this if I can. I call it the tabletop and table legs. So stay with me for a moment and you'll really see why this is, why this is valuable. This would be a tabletop. We're going to develop a metaphor for you. This would be a tabletop. And a tabletop is, of course, supported by table legs. If the table legs are gone, the tabletop falls. Simple metaphor. Now, the way man-made methods approach this is they don't look at it in the tabletop and table legs way. They, they sort of look at the, the tabletop. They consider the tabletop to be, oh, gee, I have all this anxiety. I have all these symptoms. So let's aim at the tabletop. And let's see if we can't melt pound on the top of it or something like that. Um, let's deal with all the symptoms involved rather than the cause, the table leg causes. And let's see how far we can go. Well, okay, you can take drugs for these kind of things and you can do a lot of other exercises and, you know, and so on that may or may not give you relief, but you tend to have to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, and keep doing it. But let's take a look at what that cause really could be. And this is where the innovation really occurs. The cause is really the table legs that support the tabletop. The tabletop is I have all this anxiety. The table legs are the specific events in your life that give rise to anxiety. Let me give you an example. Suppose someone has a abusive parental background. That is the mother, father, or other members of the family would abuse them, would reject them, would beat them sometimes, maybe even sexually abuse and all of kinds of other things. All of these become specific events in one's life. And those are the table legs underneath the tabletop. As, as those things occur, then we create anxiety within ourselves at that point. Oh, you know, what's going on here? What's wrong with me? I'm not lovable. I don't count. You know, there's something wrong with me. I'm defective. This kind of thing is what a child, you know, creates. That's anxiety. You can take something even less dramatic than the abuse I was just talking about. Suppose someone is in, in school, and they're giving a, um, reciting a poem, and the kids in class laugh at them. Well, 
There's an anxiety producer right there. Another table leg under the tabletop. Okay. You can get many examples of specific events in your life where this occurred. If those specific events did not happen and you did not get anxiety as a result, you wouldn't know what anxiety really was. And there would be no tabletop saying, you oh, know, I'm, I'm anxious. You wouldn't be replaying those things in current time. So we don't need drugs or other things to go back to that. We can use our unseen therapist, our spiritual healer within to address these things. And we can do it not in weeks, months, or years that conventional therapy may seem to take. Ah, this takes a session or two, a few hours maybe, even minutes in some cases, you know, to reduce these, reduce or eliminate these specific events that cause the anxiety. So when someone has a traumatic specific event where something happened at the age six or something like that, Ah, we can go, we can go to it. Even, and when even the memory of that goes, oh, you know, I, I get to a, a 10 point scale, I get to a, an eight or a nine or a 10 just thinking about it. Here I am decades later. We can reduce that down to you go, oh, yeah, I guess that happened. Well, I, I, you know, I can't even think about that much anymore. I'm not even sure I can find the memory. I mean, that's how cleanly and how, how beautifully this can be done if done properly, and we're going to teach you how to do that. Now, that's the idea of it. Um, from this point, I'm going to really refer you to our book, which will flesh out everything for you. It will give you all the science. It will give you all the background. It will give you examples of not only anxiety, but every human ailment you can name, because all of them have the tabletop and table legs underneath them. Every issue you can name, every physical thing, every disease, everything has emotional issues underneath it. Table legs under the tabletop. Collapse the table leg. Ah, there goes the tabletop. You're going to find it refreshing. You're going to find it beautiful. And here's the information you need for the free ebook.